On this episode of The Other Siders, the team investigates an abandoned youth detention facility that many claim is haunted. I'm getting really dizzy and claustrophobic. Locals say the spirits of the tortured former detainees still roam the grounds of this sprawling complex. This is freaking scary, man. I totally just heard girls laughing. Will the team determine the detention center is haunted, or will they turn back in terror before they can discover the truth? What was that? My name is Riley, I am 16, and I am the lead investigator on the team. The five of us are all friends, and we all share a common interest in the paranormal, so one day we form this team, and it allows us to go investigate these supposedly haunted areas to see if we can call it haunted or not. All right, guys, so let's pick a place to investigate this week. I'm Jackie, I'm 16 years old, and I'm the researcher on the team. Each investigation starts with us researching a bunch of locations from the internet and then choosing the best, most credible spot to investigate. Okay, we have to start narrowing down. What do you want to cut out? I'm Casey, I'm 16 years old, and I'm the case manager on the team. We don't choose a place just because it's scary. We're doing a legitimate investigation because we're trying to collect cold, hard facts to decide if a place is haunted or not. Or between Youth Correctional Facility and the Red Cross House. I think that we should do the Youth Correctional Facility. They're supposedly heard laughter in the chapel. It's kind of scary. It says here that Fred C. Nels is basically a youth prison. So this could be a really great place for us. Yeah. yeah. My name is Sam and I'm 14 years old and I'm the webmaster on the team. I believe in ghosts, but I think sometimes people claim that a place is haunted when it's really not. And that's why we put together this team, to pretty much debunk those places. Looking at the reports, this place is huge. Zach, do we have enough gear to cover it all? I think, yeah, I think we can do it. My name is Zach, I'm 13 years old, and I'm the tech manager on the team. The coolest thing about being the youngest on the team is that maybe people underestimate me, and then I could surprise them. All right, so we're on agreement? Yeah. Yeah. So this week, we'll investigate Fred C. Nell's youth correctional facility. Let's head over there. Okay, let's, okay. Do, let's do this. <laughs> When we head out to the investigation, we bring all of our equipment, like our thermal roll camera, our voice recorders, and our EMF detector, in hopes of collecting paranormal evidence. Going into an investigation, we're not just going to get scared out of our minds. We're going to try to collect really credible evidence. We're going to a place where kids have been kept in cages and we're basically tortured there. It's going to be so much negative energy, it's going to be really scary. Did it say that there's actually 28 Deceased bodies that are buried, the staff members mentioned? Yeah, they're, they're buried, buried within? Under, they're buried under the east facilities, yeah. and that's one of the places I think we should go and look at. There's also twin chapels, and it's reported that there have been noises that sounded like girls laughing, and also strange clothes just all around that area. I think it's really important that we just all spread out, because there's going to be a lot of ground to cover. When I first pulled up to the facility, I was honestly really scared. I don't want to go here. Whoa, look at that. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. When we were pulling up, I was pretty spooked out. It was a really big building. It was just, it didn't give me such a good feeling. Okay, guys, this place is huge. So I'm thinking, why don't we just choose a base camp right now? Base camp is our main meeting spot in the center of all the reports of paranormal activity and also where we set up our high-tech equipment. Let's go with the infirmary. It's good because it's in the center of all the paranormal hotspots that's been reported. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Sounds okay. good? good yeah. Alright, let's go. From a tech standpoint, it was good that we set up base camp in the infirmary because it was a good place to run all the cables to the cameras and see all the stuff that was going on. The infirmary was supposedly haunted by people who had died there, so it was pretty scary setting up base camp in there. Okay guys, for this investigation, we're going to also be using the locator beacon. And of course guys, we got walkies to stay in constant communication throughout the night. 
After we've set up base camp, the next thing that we have to do is we need to take our cameras and set them up in the places that have the most reports of paranormal activity. And then we can monitor them throughout the entire night at base camp. I'm freaking out right now. On the verge of crying and freaking out. Go to base camp. Go to base camp. Are the old infirmary cameras set up? Yes, they are. Over. Copy them on my way back. All right, guys, I've got a good shot. I'm really freaking out out here. I'm going back to base camp. Copy that. Back from base camp? Go to base. I set up the video camera. Are you seeing, are you seeing the base right now? I do. Over. Stay at the base. Go to base. You have a signal on the channel? I do. I'm heading back to base. Did you hear that? Just heard some... Sam to base. Go to base. I totally just heard girls laughing. Just like how they reported it. Like clearly, like girls giggling. I just heard girls laughing pretty softly, but I don't think the cameras picked it up, so I'll have to go back later and check. So what exactly is your feeling on this place so far? I think it's really scary. Yeah. I mean, to just have started to set up the cameras already have some paranormal activity is a good indicator. It takes a lot of guts to go out and investigate reportedly haunted places in the pitch black dark and look for the unknown. It's actually really scary. Alright, guys, remember, the grounds are really spread out, so keep in constant walkie contact. Remember, we're looking for strange noises, misty apparitions, and glowing lights. Let's start the investigation. When we're out investigating, we look for anything out of the ordinary. You know, smells, sounds, sightings, just anything that shouldn't be there that could be tied to the paranormal. Your shadow is scaring me. I'm feeling really weird, so I don't know if it's us. You're scaring me. Casey and I decided to go investigate the gym because there were reports of claustrophobia. And since people were feeling claustrophobic, it could be paranormal. All right, I think it's through here. Jackie, this is scary. Jackie and I are gonna head into the gym. Copy that. Over. Do you think that's a reflection? Do you see that? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, wait, that's really wait, wait, what is that? It's right right around here. Just rocking back and forth. So much to go. I gotta go check that out. Sam, so, do you wanna come with me to go check out? This apparition yeah, we have yeah. in the chapel. I'll totally uh, radio you in if someone's like, behind you. Or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, please do if someone's behind me. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go. All right. okay. Well, it smells really bad in here. I'm getting really dizzy and claustrophobic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there it is, a giant bug. Okay. Let's let's just go around it. Okay, it's okay. Jackie and I decided to go investigate the gym because there's been reports of claustrophobia. I mean, think about it. This place is huge, and people are feeling claustrophobic. That could be tied to paranormal activity. Jackie, to base camp. Go over it again. We heard a really, really loud bang that came from above. We're in the basement of the gym. Copy that. Be very careful. Okay. I have, I have the chills right now. Me too, me too, chills. me too, me too, me too. We're okay. Do you think maybe it was the door closing? It could have been the door closing, but... Casey and I heard some really weird noises, and even though we were really scared, we decided to walk closer to see if we can capture any evidence on our voice recorders. Do you want to go see what's upstairs? Yeah, let's go upstairs. They were 
reports of girls laughing in the chapel and also weird lights through the windows. We went to where he said it was, and we were standing right next to it, and we didn't see anything. Like Zach was saying, it's right over your shoulder, it's right there, and we couldn't even see anything. So we were kind of like, is it there, is it not there, what's going on here? Like he said, we were like right at it, but we didn't even see anything. It's time for the test. Yeah, it's time for the tap building to change tapes. I'll go change out the tape in the tap cell block, and Sam will head back to base. Casey to base camp. We can't get into the upper level. The door is locked. We're gonna head on and look around. Copy that. Casey and I decided to go investigate the garage because that's where the 28 kids were reportedly buried and people say that you can hear really weird noises. Okay, it's okay, we're okay. There was a little room full of old bicycles and we decided to go in there and see if we can get anything on the EMF detector. Since paranormal energy can show up as changes in the magnetic field, we use the EMF detector to see if we can find a spirit in the room with us. Okay. It's okay. We're okay. Why are there so many bikes here? I don't know. Maybe they're confiscated bikes? Each step. The Taft cell block is reportedly haunted by a teenage boy, so I was really nervous to go in there. I'm officially gonna say I'm freaked out. It is really, really dark, really scary. Something just hit my hand, my, my shoulder. <laughs> Something just hit my shoulder. I swear it just tapped my shoulder. I thought it was my sweatshirt, but no. Like this, this is not fun anymore. And I'm freaking out. I can't find any explanation for what touched me. I'm freaking out. see if we can catch anything on the voice recorder. We do call and response, asking simple questions to the spirits to see if we can capture any paranormal evidence on our voice recorders. Okay, let's go dark. I'm really scared. I'm really scared. I'm like apprehensive. I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen. I, I, my senses are all on edge. Same. Okay. Spirits. If you're in here or anywhere around here, we mean no harm. Just give us a sign, any kind of sign, to let us know that you're here. How old are you? I hear like I hear that too. My name is Casey. This is Jackie. What's your name? Jackie and I went to the custody 
the garage because there's been reports of apparitions walking around and feelings of claustrophobia. I hear that too. I'm, my senses are all on edge. for base camp. <laughs> and we asked for a sign and it sounded like a light bulb popped and something happened and we're both on the floor now like crying we're really scared. Okay, hang in there. Um, are you just gonna listen for more or head out? I think we're gonna head out. Hold on. Jackie, that was so scary. We don't know what it was. After I got freaked out, all I wanted to do was get back to base camp safely. Oh that was really scary. What? Oh my god. Okay. What happened? Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> Jackie and I were in the garage and we were doing calm response and we asked, can you give us a sign that you're here? And we hear, really? so we don't know what that was. And then we just did a couple questions and then we said, can you give us another sign that you're here? And like a second after that happened, this huge bit, like this, it sounded like something shattered. It, like, yeah. it sounded like glass popping. I think that all five of us should go down to the garage and take all the equipment we have, the EMF, the voice recorders, the FLIR, everything, all the works, just to see, get all the evidence that we can possibly get. Ready? Right, ready? Let's go. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's do this. where me and Casey heard the first little noises. I'm not really getting anything on the thermal camera. Unlike a regular camera, the thermal camera reads temperatures. Since it said that spirits can take the forms of hot or cold spots, we use it to try to collect paranormal evidence. Yeah. Just push the gate open. Watch out for this thing. Yeah. Isn't this freaky? Look at this. I've never seen so many bikes. That's where it happened. We were sitting in the puddle right here and it came from over there. Yeah. See anything? I'm just not getting anything on this. Well, all five of us investigated the garage for a while and we didn't find anything out of the ordinary. It had been a long night. We had a lot of work to do when we got back. We had to go over all the evidence that we had collected. So we decided to pack it up and go home. After the investigation, we go through all of our evidence. We pretty much look for anything out of the ordinary. Because then we get to the best part, where we all take a vote and decide whether a place is haunted or not. When I was going over the chapel footage, I found something really interesting. So check this out. Whoa, you that? see that? Whoa. It looks like... It like looks like someone's pointing a flashlight. Yeah, it looks like yeah. a groundskeeper with a flashlight or something. Do you think it was one of us? I don't know, maybe it could have been one of us. Like, could have been one of us. Yeah, and it does look like a flashlight. Yeah, I, I don't think it's anything to really worry about. Okay, guys, this one is the chapel. And what's happening at this moment is we actually, do you remember Zach? We saw something in the chapel. Zach, what is that? I don't know. It's floating and we're rocking back and forth. So this is what the camera picked up. Oh, oh my God, that's freaky! Okay guys, this one is the chapel. So this is what the camera picked up. Oh, oh my god, that's freaky! You guys see that? Yeah, it looks like a lady. See, this is her face. Oh, that's freaky. Yeah. Okay, these are the eyes right here. So a big one. A pure oh, one. I see it. You see it? These are the eyes. This is the face. Oh, I oh, see, I see it, it now. Oh my god, you guys are insane. Yeah. It kind of looks like a dead woman. Well, she yeah. has like bangs. She has two little eyes. But she's Why do you think that... Do you guys remember when I set up the camera in the chapel and I heard the girls laughing? I totally just heard girls laughing. 
Maybe that's her. Maybe she's watching. Yeah, maybe. The lady we saw in the chapel and the laughter I heard are just crazy because there have been reports of that chapel being haunted by former female inmates. Casey, remember when we were in the basement of the gym and right before we were about to enter that little room, we heard that loud bang? <laughs> Well, I looked back at all of our footage and ran our audio through our audio enhancement software, and I caught something really great. Look at this. Do you guys hear get out on it? No. Yeah. I, I hear it saying out more because it's yeah. saying get when we're like kind screaming. of screaming. So I hear like a owl. When we listen back to our voice recorders, sometimes we can hear an EVP, which is a noise believed to be the voice of a spirit that we didn't hear while we were investigating. Today, today. No, it's saying out, I'm pretty sure. What do you guys think it could be? Is it credible evidence? Is it inconclusive? I think it's a good piece of evidence. I think the timing just is really unexplainable. It's weird that there was a presence there and they knew we were there and they didn't want us there. I think we should go around and make a decision whether we think it's haunted or not. Alright. Zach, start us off. Based on the video footage, mainly for me, I'm calling this place haunted. It's really freaky to think about that something didn't want us in there and with you being touched and we all know you don't lie. So, I mean, that kind of does it for me. I yeah. think it's haunted. And also with you hearing the girls laughing and you getting touched by someone, I think it's definitely haunted. If you're just going off the video, that's unexplainable. So I'm gonna have to call it haunted. What did it for me is I, something touched me. Something just hit my hand, my, my shoulder. I was just standing there and legitimately twice, two pokes on the side of my arm. So I'm definitely gonna have to call it haunted. We had a connection with the people there. Right? Yeah. So the verdict is it's haunted. Francine Nell's Youth Correctional Facility is haunted. After we call a place haunted or not, I put our evidence online so people can draw their own conclusions. I'm really proud of the team. We all did a great job in this investigation. Riley saying he got touched was insane for me. A skeptic openly saying that he got touched by something that he cannot explain, that just made it even more powerful evidence for me. We all worked really hard and we collected some really great evidence. I seriously can't wait till the next investigation.